is spot reduction a myth or is it possible to target fat in your body's most stubborn areas? And that's the question I'm going to answer and address inside today's video. I'm going to share a study along with a protocol that you can follow that shows that spot reduction may be a myth. And before I talk about the study, I want to just set the precedence that Without a sound diet and exercise program working in synergy together, this obviously is not going to apply to you. Now, if you're inactive and you have you know, 30 or 40 pounds to lose, this really won't apply to you. This is going to apply to somebody who has already lost 10, 20, 30 pounds and they're trying to lose that last 10 pounds of stubborn fat. And there was a study that was published that showed that when you increase capillary blood flow to a stubborn body part, the fat that's adjacent to that muscle will be burned off first instead of last. Now this is really, really interesting because we've been taught for years and years that spot reduction is impossible. Now I am in a perfect position to experiment with this because I've spent the last six months gaining almost 15 pounds because I've been trying to gain back muscle mass after I had a serious shoulder surgery. You can see this guy right here. I had two tears and I've been recovering now for over eight months. And so as a result of that, I've been in a calorie surplus to gain back muscle. And so now I have this layer of fat and goo that I need to burn off. So I'm in a perfect position to try this protocol and then you can experiment with it in other body parts that may be stubborn or you're trying to burn fat from but we're going to use the abdominal region today because most people want to target belly fat. So the way that this would work is there's a couple things that need to happen. Number one, you need to create the capillary blood flow to the area you want to target. So the way to do this is obvious do uh, ab circuit. So some type of ab circuit where you're training upper abs, you're training lower abs, and you're training obliques. Now once you do about 100 reps or more in that particular area, you have the blood flowing in that particular muscle group. Now the next move that you have to do so that you can target fat cells in that area is you have to release hormones. And these hormones will travel quickly to these areas where you've generated this capillary blood flow. So after the ab circuit, you would engage in my metabolic bursting protocols, which will stimulate the adrenal glands to release adrenaline and it will coax the pituitary in your brain to release growth hormone. And when these two hormones are present, now they can travel to the area where you've created this blood flow to target fat in that particular area. So after you do some metabolic bursting, the next thing that you would do is you continue afterwards with some steady state cardio because what this will do is it will continue to help you oxidize fat in that area. So it's a three-step process that you stimulate blood flow, you release hormones, and then you continue exercising at a low to medium intensity to continue target targeting the fat cells in that particular area. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, click the like button. Again, this is not a cure-all or a replacement for a sound diet and exercise plan. And again, it applies mostly to people who are at a point where they just have about five to 10 pounds of stubborn fat left to lose. So thanks for watching and keep going strong.